What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for California. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But as always before we preview their schedule let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you will love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel, so definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season, California finished with a 6 and 7 record. 2023 was California's first bowl game appearance since 2019. But heading into 2024, I honestly expect California to be even better. Justin Wilcox hasn't made a huge impact at California yet, and his best season was an 8 and 5 record. They had the 6th best transfer portal class in the Pac-12 last season, and it helped California make a bowl game. But this year, they have the 4th best transfer portal class in the ACC. And they also returned 73% of production from last season, which is top 14 in the country. They returned one of the best running backs in the country, Jaden Knott, and that offense is going to be very good in 2024. California will have to adapt to playing ACC football, but they are going to have big home field advantage in their home games. And their schedule is also pretty favorable. And you could also consider that the ACC will be less in competition than the Pac-12 was last season. So if I'm being honest, I do expect California to take another step up. Because I think Justin Wilcox has this team heading in the right direction in the modern college football era. Because he has done a very good job utilizing the transfer portal. They went 4-8 in 2022 and they went 6-7 and in 2023. And now California brings in receivers Mikey Matthews from Utah and Tobias Merriweather from Notre Dame. And they bring in quarterback Chandler Rogers from North Texas to mix up that quarterback room. They bring in four-star quarterback Marcus Harris from Idaho, who should be a huge addition in that secondary where California really struggled last season. The defense still does have some questions, but the spring transfer portal window is coming up soon, and I honestly would not be surprised if they brought in more players specifically on the defensive side. But I do expect the offense to be one of the top offenses in the ACC. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule. And they open the season playing at home against UC Davis. UC Davis is an FCS school, and California should easily win this game. This is the cupcake game on the schedule for California, and I definitely have California winning their home opener and move it to 1-0 on the season. The next game for California is on the road against Auburn. California only lost this game by 4 points last season, but Auburn had no offense last season, and the only reason California stayed in that game was because the offense wasn't great. And Auburn didn't even have 100 passing yards because Peyton Thorne was still trying to figure things out at the quarterback position. The offense really held Auburn back last season. But regardless, they did beat California. And Auburn also made a bowl game and played in one possession games against Alabama and Georgia. This season, Peyton Thorne has a full offseason of spring practices. And now they have a true freshman stud at receiver who is Cam Coleman. I don't think this offense will be crazy good, but it's going to be much more explosive. And Auburn will also have this game at home. So I do have California losing this game at Auburn, and I have California moving to 1-1 one one on the season. The next game for California is at home against San Diego State. San Diego State did not live up to their standard last season, as the offense was atrocious. And they only went 4-8, and eight, which was their first losing season since 2009, which was 15 years ago. But on the bright side, San Diego State has a new head coach, who is Sean Lewis. And he has done a fantastic job in the transfer portal so far. Sean Lewis was the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach for Colorado last season, so it will be interesting to see how San Diego State looks on the offensive side, more specifically at the quarterback position, because they bring in A.J. Duffy from Florida State, and I honestly see a path for San Diego State to make a bowl game in 2024. But regardless, I definitely have California winning this game at home, and I have California move it to 2-1 on the season. The next game for California is on the road against Florida State. I think California has a lot of potential to be a very competitive team in the ACC, but playing on the road against Florida State will likely be their biggest test of the season, and I do not see California pulling off the upset in this game. DJ UA Youngle lit up that California defense last season in the Pac-12, and now he will be playing in the ACC for Florida State. Mike Novell is one of the best coaches in college football. He recruits pretty well, but he's also a beast in the transfer portal, and I have no doubt that Florida State is going to be very good again. I think DJU will surprise a lot of people next season. I definitely have California losing this game to Florida State on the road, and I have California move it to 2-2 two two on the season. Following their game against Florida State, California will have a bye week, and then they play at home against Miami. This is a game that I am very hyped for. This is going to be a fun high-scoring shootout, 
and the atmosphere is going to be awesome. And most people would probably believe California does not stand a chance in this game, but I honestly disagree. California has this game at home coming off a of bye week, and this is going to be a big road test for Miami, and I think California can give Miami a game. In fact, I think California will actually outright win this game at home. California is going to play lights out in this game, and the home field advantage is big in this game for California, so I do have California move it to 3-2 and two on the season. The next game for California is on the road against Pitt. This is going to be a big test for California on the road. Can California carry over their momentum after a big upset win against Miami? Well, luckily, I don't think Pitt is a super talented team. Pitt only went 3-9 last season, and there's a lot that needs to be cleaned up on the offensive side. They do bring in new offensive coordinator Cade Bell and new quarterback Eli Holston from Alabama. They return some of their top stars on offense, like running back Rodney Hammond Jr., but there's just not a lot of talent on this team from top to bottom, and they are kind of in rebuild mode. I think California will win a closer game on the road, and I have California move it to 4-2 and two on the season. The next game for California is at home against NC State. This is another tough game for California, but they do have this game at home, and I expect NC State to be one of those top teams in the ACC. They have a very underrated offense heading into next season. They bring in Grayson McCall at quarterback, and Noah Rogers, Wesley Grimes, and Justin Jolie are going to be big additions on the offensive side, but they also brought in star running back from Duke, Jordan Waters. This offense is really good from top to bottom, and the defense has some questions. But on the bright side, the defense for NC State has been consistently good the last couple of seasons, and that is why I am high on NC State. But I think California keeps their momentum going. They have this game at home, and I'm a lot higher in California than most people probably are. So I do have California beating NC State and move it to 5-2 and two on the season. The next game for California will stay on the West Coast as they play Oregon State out of conference at home. Yes, Oregon State is no longer a conference opponent and the Pac-12 is no longer a thing, which is crazy to think about. And Oregon State really lost a lot of talent. They lost their head coach and they lost a lot of their top stars, including their number one and number two quarterback. And one big time player that they did have returning is Damian Martinez. But he has now entered the transfer portal. So the situation isn't looking the greatest for Oregon State. But they do have potential with some of the new transfer portal additions and also the fact that they have a very easy schedule. They're bringing a solid running back from Colorado who is Anthony Hankerson, so he could be a decent replacement for Damian Martinez. But I honestly just do not expect much from Oregon State next season, and I definitely have California winning this game at home and move it to 6-2 and two on this season. Following their game against Oregon State, California will have a bye week, and then they go on the road to play Wake Forest. They only have 5 away games, and 2 of them are against teams that were very bad in the ACC last season, and that is going to help California next season. I'm not very high on Wake Forest. They finished last in the ACC last season. They do return a lot on defense, and Hank Bashmeyer has potential at quarterback. But Wake Forest has not been the same team since losing Sam Hartman at quarterback. And last season was very bad for Wake Forest. California also has a bye week heading into this game, and I definitely think California is the better team than Wake Forest. So I have California winning this game and move it to 7-2 on the season. The next game for California is at home against Syracuse. I think Syracuse and California are both sleeper ACC teams, but I'm personally higher in California than I am Syracuse. Syracuse went 6-7, and seven, but they didn't have any quality wins last season. And Syracuse will also have a new head coach. Kyle McCord has a lot of potential at quarterback, but I still have my concerns with that offense. And I think California will win this game at home and continue their winning streak, so I have California move it to 8-2 and two on the season. The next game for California is at home against Stanford. Stanford will likely be one of the worst teams in the ACC. They allowed 37 points a game last season, which was one of the worst points per game given up in the country last season. And they have also went 3-9 the past three seasons. They are in rebuild mode with new head coach Troy Taylor. The defense has a lot of concerns, but they do return Ashton Daniels and Alik Ayumanner on the offensive side. So maybe they have potential with the offense, but I just do not expect Stanford to be that good in 2024. California beat Stanford by double digits last season. And I definitely think California will beat Stanford in 2024 as well. So I have California move it to 9-2 on the season. And the last game of the season for California will be on the road against SMU. SMU is a very interesting team heading into next season. They will be playing their first season in the ACC just like California. But SMU was previously a group of five school. They won the American Conference and they were solid last season. But it will be interesting to see how they fare against ACC competition. Preston Stone returns after missing the end of last season, and SMU should be a pretty decent team. They have done a good job in the transfer portal, and I think California will lose this game on the road against SMU. 
So I have California finishing the season with a 6-2 conference record and a 9-3 overall record. A lot of people probably don't agree with this prediction, which is fine, but I really think California is going to have a great year one in the ACC. They have a pretty favorable schedule, and I'm calling my shot with this California team. I think that they're going to have one of the top offenses in the ACC. But you guys let me know how many games you think California will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.